Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. So today we're going to deploy on mission 10, aka Operation Severed Beast. Or at least that's what I think that I said that I would do on the last video, because we also have this other enticing uh, <laughs> mission. It's difficult and it's a neutralize the field commander mission, which generally suck. Um, but it would reward us as scientist, which is also kind of interesting, but we don't know what it counters and right now I don't really want to spend the intel to find out. So this might not actually be something that we need to be worried about, but I don't remember exactly because, you know, the episodic format of the series means that I don't play every night or several missions in a single night. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what this dark event could be anymore. I guess I could find out, but I think instead of that, we are going to deploy an Operation Severed Beast because we do have a sitrep here called Location Scout, which gives us information on all enemy movements. And it also counters a dark event called Stiletto Rounds, which would cause my soldiers to bleed out if they get hit by advanced soldiers, which would be very bad indeed. Though Sabotage the Transmitter is also a shitty mission to play. I have to say, I have to be honest done. there. We have to rush pretty fast. Actually, yeah, maybe not so much in this setup, because we have a little bit more time than usual. Yeah, alright. So, let's take a look. We don't want to take two snipers, but what else could we take? We have two rangers, grenadier. Grenadier could be good, actually, because we don't have that in the setup yet. And actually, <laughs> oh wow, this setup is me and three of my friends. I kind of like that. I have to admit, I kind of like that. Actually, um, let me just check really quickly. Did we have Thunderduck? Actually, Thunderduck is available too. We could take Thunderduck just because I kind of want to get him in here on this mission. I guess we could remove myself. We could take Thunderduck in my place and then we would take Simon, aka Boer, the Grenadier. Alright, so utility items are available. Let's take a look. Did we have a flashbang? Yes, we do indeed. Alright. Thunderduck is going to deploy on his first mission today. Let's take a look at weaponry. Make weapons available. Do we have... No, alright. So he already has the upgraded sniper rifle. That is good. Do we have a different assault rifle? No, we do not. What about the shotgun? No, we do not. Alright. And also the cannon. Yeah, we do have a cannon. Actually, we might have to recheck the shotgun there. No, okay. But we could probably improve the shotgun. Yeah, we can. Laser sights. That's a good upgrade for a shotgun. Let's make this thing... Blue? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Alright, so that's all the upgrades accounted for. We have a special weapon over here that does guaranteed one damage even on misses. The same thing is true for the sniper rifle. And do we want a medkit? Can Remco actually heal people up? Medical protocol? Yes, he can indeed. Alright, so... We will spend 60 supplies on a medkit. We will give that to my friend. And then we're going to launch. Sky Ranger Menace ready to deploy! During a recent scouting operation, our friends in the Resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter Advent just deployed in this area. As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, so Slums District, Ratway in Bangalore. Interesting, so because I was kind of figuring this, this would be a, like a tunnel mission because this kind of this type of mission generally does take place in the tunnels, but today we're Advent out in the open. Has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. 
Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked system. Oh. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Commander, we managed to access an old reconnaissance satellite passing over the AO. We've got a complete picture of the area. There shouldn't be any surprises on this one. Aw, oh, hell no. Look at this bullshit. We started in a fucking advent tower radius. No matter what we do, we will get spotted if we move. Our only hope, actually, is to have Rolero here hack the tower and disable it. Which might not actually happen. I don't know, but that is pretty fucking shit. Anyway, let's have a quick scan around the map. So we have... Uh, what is this? Two stun lancers and an advent mech. And then we have a purifier, a trooper and a viper. The viper suck pretty hard as well <laughs> if you ask me all right um i don't see anything else on the map and this was a moderate difficulty mission and that worries me <laughs> a little bit because that gives me the feeling that we are going to encounter a chosen i don't like that but first things off let's yeah first things first let's I'll try to hack this tower this is probably going to be a shit chance it's the only chance we have of remaining unconcealed, so it's a 59% chance. Come on, oh, yes. Whew! <laughs> that is good. Alright. So at least we can stay in concealment. That is something. <laughs> oh man. It would have been so shitty to reveal ourselves straight off the bat. That would be really, really, really crap. Alright, so my friend Rulero is going to move over there. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. That was really fucking shit. Alright, hold on for a moment. Let me check something really quick. Alright, I'm back. I just wanted to check really quickly um, the sound recording settings for this mission because usually uh, I thought there was a Windows update and the problem with that is that sometimes it resets the recording settings on my program. We've got the objective in sight. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Alright, so I had that problem before, and it meant that usually I would record a mission, and only at the end I would find out that the sound of the game was not recorded, and my voice was not recorded, and everything basically was for nothing. And it really sucks for an episode that I play on Iron Man mode. <laughs> Alright, so what are these guys doing? Man, I hate the stun answers. They need to die really quick. As well as the mech, he can be troublesome. This calls for a grenade. Really begs for a grenade, even. Alright, so these guys are coming up. We might be able to engage these guys without uh, triggering the other group, and I think we will have to do so on this turn. Now, my friend Rulero here does have squad sights because he hacked an objective. Actually, his chances to hit are not bad. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so he would be able to hit them from over here as well, so we are definitely going to put him into heavy cover, away from that other group, which might also come up on this turn. Alright, so we have my heavy over here. And I would say that this is a pretty much unflankable position on this turn. So we are going to run him forward into heavy cover. And we are going to start this off with the first of our grenades, because that is guaranteed damage. And I would very much like to do that, as well as extend our timer, because we can blow up the little turret thingy as well, which, if blown up, extends that timer. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with this. And then we still have three more shots left. Two people that can move and shoot. And one person that can shoot from the position well he's in right now. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Right, so all of these guys got damaged, and that should hopefully pre present some interesting targets. Alright, so this guy, for example, 
hopefully is, is fairly flankable. Nah, I guess it's not. Right, but my friend Remco, he cannot move anymore. So he might as well take a shot. And he has a pretty much a coin toss on the Viper there. He's going to take that shot. Ah, uh, let's hit the Mr. car. Target. Is the car now burning? Because I have a feeling that it is. As I also don't want to move here. It is heavy cover, which is great, but it's also an easy target for the Viper to use, which is really shit. Yeah, that works out. Like that. All right, so we could take a shot with our sniper, and that might kill the Viper. We are definitely going to do that, because that is the highest percentage chance that we've got. It misses, but grazes for two. Only winged him. And now he's down to 4 HP. The Purifier is down to 4 HP, and the Advent Trooper is down to 2 HP. Now we could move in for a slash attack, but of course we, we would be without cover. And if we move over here, we are going to trigger that other group, which I definitely do not want. I also don't want to be in easy range for that Sniper or a Viper area of effect attack. So I guess we are going to walk forward into heavy... I do want to be in heavy cover. So we are going to move to heavy cover there or here. But we have the shotgun. So the closer we are, the better it will be. But this might spread us out just enough to not invite the area of attack. Yeah. So we're going to go oh over here. Way. Right there. Should be good. Right, and another coin toss. But if we hit... The base damage would be 4, which should be enough to kill this Viper, unless it becomes a Graze again. But, Thunder Duck, we're counting on you. Ah, man. <laughs> That's a 2 on a Graze. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Here we go. We got it chosen. This time, though, it's the Warlock. Blast Shield, immune to explosions. That sucks. Defense increased after the first attack of every turn. That sucks even more, but he is brittle, which means he suffers increased damage from close range attacks, and his adver adversary is skirmishers, which we don't have on the mission right now. Hmm. How much HP? 30. It's one of the chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Alright, so these guys are not going to trigger on this turn, I think. Nope, but the Viper oh, is going to do something shitty. Yeah. Oh, and that's going to trigger that group. Because he just pulled my trooper into their line of sight. Oh, man. That's kind of shit. The Viper is out of cover, though. This is kind of weird, but... My character is burning, the Viper is burning. That's an interesting move to make. And then this trooper is going to take a shot at my sniper and miss. Oh man, we need to heal my friend. We also need to take care of that Viper. Alright, so my friend... Oh, my sniper could take a 69% chance shot at that. Or... And this is probably the better option. Move here, take a pistol shot, because the pistol shot does 2 damage, that's exactly what we need, and it's going to be a 100% chance to hit, because he's super close. Confirmed. So, my friend Booty here is going to take a run forward, he is going to... No, not that one. What? 83? Why? Low cover. Hell no, he's flanked. But we're going to take that shot, I guess, because the Viper's position is not accurate. Oh man, the Grey is really... Really... I do for real right now. Alright, anyway, let's heal up my friend Boot. Actually, does he still need to run? Yes, he actually, yeah, of course he needs to run, but... Is he going to take damage if he does? It doesn't look like it. Um... Where to run to, though, because we need heavy cover. So there's nothing in our area which would be heavy cover. Alright, so if you run over here. Closing on target position now. I guess that's enough. Alright, so then my friend Rolero 
can heal them up. So Medical. at least he stops Medical burning. Detail. He gets some HP back. And he might be good to go for another couple of rounds. Hopefully. Though he is out of heavy cover, which is really shitty. Oh, but he's still health again. And he's no longer burning. So that is good. And then he can take a shot. 49. But this is not a guaranteed... Ah, man, it's so shitty. Because the thing is... Uh, so this guy will guarantee one damage and his chance to hit is pretty low but even if you miss this the viper will be dead and i think we have to deal with the viper first so that's exactly what we're going to do <laughs> oh man that's a crit for eight enemy destroyed uh, you should feel proud in having died for the glory of the elders so this thing is not burning and blowing up i think thunder duck should try to get in as close as possible to take a shot but first let's take a look at what Ramco can do so he could take a shot for 58 he cannot move it anymore oh crap oh that's almost a misclick there he's out of action he's out of action don't tell me you're still burning but I see I still see the effect but he doesn't have the status symbol on him anymore ah man all right so if you move over here so I also kind of want to deal with that trooper. The trooper, no, the purifier is for this is forty-seven percent. Ah man, it's a coin toss, but so is the stun dancer pretty much. Like it's a little bit better than a coin toss, but not by much. And if you kill this guy, if you hit this guy, he's going to be dead for sure. So I think we're going to take that shot and hope for the best. Not even close to possible. No. Alright, so Thunder Duck is flanked, but he needs to move. I think we're going to move him towards the car. Orders confirmed on the move. We need to have you cover and get him closer to this guy. He can do some guaranteed damage. For a, wow. Five damage. That is really nice, Thunder Duck. It Thank you very much. He's up to 4 or down to 4 HP actually, but oh man, oh, this is a shit position. He's going to use his Grenadier attack, I think, yeah. Critical hits, and they're out of cover. And the stun lance is coming in. He's immune to fire. He hits the 4 and Thunder Duck. Oh man, really? This guy. Oh, he misses. Okay. Oh man. All right, so the purifier comes in. He's going to try to put down a flame attack. Hopefully he misses. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Ah, oh, the trooper too. I forgot about him. Shit. Oh, that sucks. No. God damn it. Everything continues going to shit so often in this campaign. The thing is... I play this game outside of YouTube series as well. Things often go pretty well, and I, I wish like oh, I wish I was recording this, right? And then when I actually record a video, things go to shit, like every single time. That's the most frustrating thing ever, man. Jesus. All right, uh, Thunder Duck. He's going to, to fall back into, <laughs> into heavy cover right there, and he could hit this guy. 96. This is not guaranteed to kill because of the armor, but we're going to hope for the best there. Oh yes, all right, that is good. So that's another guy out of action. All right, so stabilize. I guess we should stabilize booty, but not right now. Right now we're going to reload, and then my light machine gunner is not on fire, but he needs to move. He's going to be on fire if he doesn't move. He's going to be in fire if he does move. Oh man. Really. Fucking really. Oh man. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. Alright, so we're going to run into that heavy cover right there. Now we could shoot. Chances are pretty good. But unfortunately, we are definitely going to take two. 2 HP of damage if we do not duck and put out the fire. So, we have to do it. I really don't want to, but we have to. Alright, so now Gremlin heal, Gremlin stabilize. Again, we're not going to do that. Chances to hit are pretty shit except for this guy, but we really need to do 
we need, we need to make kills, but we're not making them, those kills right now. Because one guy is down, another guy is on fire. Oh man, the stun answer misses though, that is good news. But then the other guy is still there, he's going to hit for sure. Because we can't get lucky forever. That's free damage and a disorientation. This guy is immune to fire because of course he's a purifier. That's the kind of damage he does, but that misses, that is okay, I guess. And he should be out of... He should not be burning anymore. This guy, what are you doing? No! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the miss. Ah, this guy, man. He's just going to be in the back being a nuisance. Ah, the spectral zombie. I forgot, I forgot about him. Oh, no. I hate that so much, man. I hope you guys like listening to my frustration with this shit. Because I'm feeling a lot of it. Like a lot of it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Jesus. Alright, so again, we need to do the deal in absolutes. The only guaranteed kill we can get right now would be that trooper. Or otherwise, maybe if you... now The stun answer is too far away. The trooper, though, would be a guaranteed kill. And I would definitely would like to take that damage. But we would... I would prefer to be away from the purifier, away from the stun dancers, so they might not be able to reach me on this turn. And we're going to take care of this guy again. It's a waste of a grenade, I think, but it's guaranteed damage, a guaranteed kill. And with two people down, we need it more than anything else. And so my friend is stunned. There's nowhere for him to go. Within cover, anyway. Right, so that's like the shittiest thing ever, man. Jesus. Alright, at least for all of these guys, cover doesn't really matter. So I guess we might as well just stay put in heavy cover, because these guys are going to charge me anyway. I just want to get this kill. Alright, so that's something, I guess. All goes up. It doesn't do any damage to any aliens like I would hope it would. This series is going to shit really fast. Never feel the elders <laughs> no way, man. Come on. Seriously. He's burning again. It's the last of my soldiers. Some heavy losses, Commander. We may want and now to I can't even. Uh, people rather than lose the whole squad. Oh man, he burned to death. Contact with the squad, Commander. There are no <sighs> survivors. Take no comfort, Commander. Jesus, this sacrifice will prove pointless. You should see my face right now. I'm like super annoyed at how this is going. The last couple of missions, man. Like the first missions were good. We managed to Several win a lot of them. Then we missed one, or we lost one. An on we lost Advent another. We kind of won, but kind of lost the to last one. And this one is just straight Remember, up a mess again. Because of the fucking viper, man. The viper pulled me into line of sight, and that messes up. There has to be something more we can do to help our troops. Everyone's dead. Jesus Christ, that is the worst. Although you have been placed in a difficult and now position, the advent gets to let to rounds. Expectations of your success remain high. I mean, we're going to continue. We're going to try to finish this, but to minimize further losses. Oh man, we could have really used the intel. The deceitful traitors who have left the service of the elders are known to reside nearby. You would do well to distance yourself from these feckless creatures. Market is open. Alright, so we could spend intel on stuff, but that we I really don't want to do that. So we could sell some stuff, like the alien data cache, but we have enough supplies as it is, so that really doesn't help us a lot. We cannot make contact, we cannot scan for anything else, so right now we're going to go back to the Templar HQ 14, East Asia. and heal up as many of our soldiers as we can until the next mission pops up. 
Right, so Ahmed Fries is also... We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert right. action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back right, into so we it. We get modular construction, that's pretty we good. We're ready for more orders, Commander. We we'll get a promotion. Uh, so let's back out for Commander, a moment. Let's, the factions uh, have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. A grenadier. But she is going to be out of combat for the next 10 days. We have another couple of people that are out of combat for the next 10 days or 7 days at minimum. Which is not great, but we could... No, that's the wrong one. Oh, wrong button. Resistance ring. We need to go back to the covert actions. Let's have a look. Uh, we cannot do this one. We could do that one. Uh, recover loot. We cannot do that one. We cannot do that one. We cannot do that one. We could do this one. Recruit an Oh, yes. We are definitely going to recruit an engineer. So, Sarah Williams. Uh, aim plus two could be good on one of our sharpshooters. We have two squaddies, so it doesn't really matter which one we pick. So, we're going to pick which because she is like a custom character. And do we care about injuries at the cost of 25 alloys? I only have 42. So no. We will begin the covert action immediately. Commander. We do not care about the wounds this time. Alright, so we get a specialist. Now let's have a look. Where else do we have a gap in our classes? So we have three grenadiers, all wounded, two rangers, both available. Our sharpshooter, two specialists that are available, so I guess. Six days, man. I think at this point, specialists I've would be more important. Stay away from the advent meat rations. We still don't know what they're putting in. Johanna stuff. with my girlfriend. Well, it's not a real name, but <laughs> her nickname is a real life nickname. Chana. Right. Clear alien debris. Right, so we got some supplies for that as well. That is Maximum good. Maximum power consumption. We need reached. power, so we're going to start working on excavating the next one. And this guy is going to help because we can't buy anything else anyway or build anything else until we get the power coil. And it would be better to have the power coil immediately. So that's 45 days. Unless we get that other engineer. In 13 days, 12 days. <laughs> Man. All right, already the supply rate is there. Surgical. The squad size on this mission is limited to three. Raid the advent convoy. Ah, oh, man, a convoy mission with just three people. That's bad news. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. We might ignore this one actually. We, I mean, we need the supplies, but three people, they're all untrained. And this is probably going to be like a moderate this difficulty quiet, mission. Commander. Yeah. We'll have to limit the squad size to three of our best units. We're not going Let's to make that one, actually. Done you know what? We're support. going to ignore that one, because... Yeah, not recommended, I know, but we're not going to win that. We're really, honestly, not going to win that. Alright, so some people have recovered from the wounds, they're only squaddies the though, so... Forward on the Avatar project. ...doesn't help Taking us a whole lot. facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Commander, the Avatar the project, continue project continues on, the Avatar project. on pace. We're going to slow them Another down. We'll advent... To move yeah, alright, so the increased radius things... ...is going to be there, a corporal, squaddy, okay. Message coming through, yeah. Commander. Putting it on screen now. Mechlord can summon robotic allies. Really a difficult situation, <laughs> Commander. Our continued failings uh, over the last month have left many in the resistance. Summon Advent Stun. Nothing to short of a really? fast improvement will do. Really? My training, my Did you All have to get that one? Another alien facility is going to be finished. Imminent. High alert show of force. Adding more enemies to every mission from our. Alright, so that's definitely going to be our focus there. This is also really shit. All of these are pretty shit. Alright, so we're going to keep stay with me because this one is. Um, oh, this one. Facility construction speed is increased by 25%. We're not actually constructing anything, we're just digging. So, we're going to keep the one that keeps our soldiers bleeding out instead of dying outright. 
plenty of people have recovered from their wounds so we are Avenging immediately Bobby going to go course. for uh, our supply drop and that's the only good thing here is that we get a lot of supplies I only wish that we could spend those supplies at the black market for like Intel and things like that but no <laughs> all right uh, grew a tactics school we have one rookie left and we are going to train him actually let's have a look at our soldiers three grenadiers two rangers one sharpshooter right now the other one is on covert action we have three specialists yeah so we're going to need another sharpshooter All right, so we could also recruit some more people, and I guess we are going to need it. Is there anyone in here that we know? I wonder. My friend? But is there anyone? Yeah, zero degrees from YouTube. Let's get you in there. We've got some real friends of me. We've got uh, Willem Dimmendal, which is one of my friends. Uh, Nasreen Manaif is also one of my friends. Let's get her in here. Carol Ramos. Yeah, you know what? We're going to keep it at that for the for the moment. Now, in three days, magnetic weaponry. That is going to help us a lot when we get it. We're going to do a lot more damage, but of course, another mission pops up. That is a extract VIP from Advanced City. But that's a scientist and 74 intel. All right, so that is definitely the matter mission, and now we have some more qualified Just as people. You are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the elders. The burden of honor instilled upon me since my creation drives my service to the gods, regardless of their intention. I really hope that one works out. I wish the magnetic weapons got done before this mission, but such is not our luck. We have to do or work with the shitty old weapons for a little while longer. Anyway. That's it for this video. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this comment or content and wish to see more. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.